New York Reuters The Weinstein Company has entered talks to sell the bulk of its assets to private equity firm Colony Capital, the company said on Monday, as the film production company looks for stability after the departure of co-founder Harvey Weinstein. Cockairman Bob Weinstein, Harvey's brother and the other co-founder, on Friday had denied the firm was seeking to sell or shut down after firing Harvey Weinstein, accused of sexually harassing or assaulting women over the past three decades. Colony Capital, which has about $20 billion in assets under management, will provide an immediate capital infusion into Weinstein Company and is in talks to buy all or a significant portion of its assets, the company said in a statement. Weinstein Company will have a board meeting on Tuesday, the company confirmed on Monday. No further details of the meeting were available. One of Hollywood's most influential forces, since launching in October 2005, Weinstein Company produces and distributes films, scoring hits Shakespeare in Love, The King's Speech, Silver Linings Playbook and others. Its TWC television arm produces the long-running reality series Project Runway. It does not operate a film studio and as such, has few physical assets. If the deal goes through, it will be familiar territory for Thomas Barrick, the founder and executive chairman of Colony Capital. His firm and the Qatar Investment Authority bought the Miramax Studio, founded by the Weinstein brothers, in 2010, and sold the movie production and distribution company last year to Bind Media Group. Like Miramax, the value of Weinstein Company likely lies in its library of movie hits, which are in demand by traditional TV networks and online streaming services. Weinstein Company handed control of 200 to 250 films to Goldman Sachs Group Incorporated GS.N and insurance company Assured Guarantee Limited Ago.N when it overhauled its balance sheet to avoid bankruptcy in 2010, while retaining ownership of 150 films, Reuters reported at the time. Goldman Sachs later offloaded its control of the library to AMC Networks AMCX.O, which still owns a minority stake in the library. A source familiar with the matter told Reuters on Monday. It is unclear who holds control of the bulk of the library now, because the 2010 deal allowed for Weinstein Company to reclaim ownership once some debts were repaid. Colony Capital and Weinstein Company made no mention in their statement on Monday of a possible deal value. Last year, Harvey Weinstein told The Hollywood Reporter that the privately held company was worth $700 million to $800 million, including the film library and that it had no debt. There are no public filings on which to assess the likely value of the company or its debt load. Opus Bank OPB.O funded a $400 million credit facility to Weinstein Company in August 2016, but it is unclear if the company tapped the facility. Barrick, a real estate tycoon, is a friend of U.S. President Donald Trump and served as chairman of his inaugural committee. The cash infusion comes after more of the Weinstein Company's partners have cut ties in recent days. Goldman Sachs said on Friday it is exploring options for the stake it holds in the company. Goldman's stake is less than $1 million. Hochette Book Group, the U.S. publishing house of French group Lagardier Laga.pa, terminated the Weinstein Books imprint on Thursday. Colony's cash infusion will stabilize the company's current operations as well as provide comfort to our critical distribution, production and talent partners around the world, the company said in the statement. A number of women have claimed that movie producer Harvey Weinstein sexually harassed or assaulted them over the past three decades. Weinstein has denied having non-consensual sex with anyone. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences expelled Weinstein on Saturday, a sharp smack for a Hollywood mogul known for powering a string of films to Oscar gold. The Weinsteins together have received 341 Oscar nominations and won 81 Academy Awards. Colony Capital is the private equity arm of Colony North Star Incorporated CLNS.in, a real estate investment trust that has holdings in healthcare, industrial and hospitality sectors. Colony North Star shares were last up 0.6% on Monday. Reporting by Gregory Miliotos and Jessica DiNapoli in New York Additional reporting by Jessica Tunkel and Anna Driver in New York, Aparajita Saxena in Bengaluru and P.S. Sinharoy in Los Angeles Writing by Bill Rigby Editing by Meredith Mazzilli